Hi everyone, uh, N2CUA here with another video on the frequency accuracy of the Rigel DSA815 spectrum analyzer. What prompted this one was my son, uh, James KD0 MCI, was kind enough to send his dad an HP 5316B frequency counter, and actually an HP um, DMM too. They're both both very nice. Um, they're older equipment, but um, seems to be pretty accurate stuff here. So, and I did notice on the back of the HP that it said there was an adjustment for a uh, TCXO, which is a temperature controlled crystal oscillator which means that um, if it's adjusted and calibrated properly, which <laughs> wasn't calibrated last until like 1997, but that's okay. Um, it was at least calibrated. And so it should be reliable and reasonably accurate, <coughs> even that old. So here's what we've done. Um, at this point, I'm using a Lcraft XG3. I've used this to my past videos. I could put it up here, I guess, if you want to see it. That's the generator there. And it's sitting at 28 megahertz exactly, exactly, supposedly. And again, I mean, it's not a perfectly accurate signal source, but pretty darn close. Uh, at least according to the ARRL laboratories. So. Um, I don't know if you can see the video, but up here in the upper right hand corner, I have the frequency counter turned on for the marker, uh, marker number one. And it's sitting at 27.999997 megahertz. It's bouncing between six and seven. Okay. So it's saying that it's three hertz slow. Fine. That's certainly reasonable. And <coughs> I'm going to move the camera here, so I'll forgive. Um, the frequency counter is reading, if you can see it, 28.000012, toggling in between 1 and 2 hertz high. So even the difference between those two is, um, you know, only, what, 5 hertz? I mean, that's, come on, that's pretty close. Now, <coughs> I have another one here. I fired up the... I think it's warmed up enough. My 10 megahertz crystal controlled oscillator. And it's supposed to be like extremely accurate. And hopefully I can do this without damaging the input to the spectrum analyzer. That would be just like not good. So, <clears throat> let me remove this from the scope. I have it on the scope to make sure that the level is really low in millivolts and all that. I got an attenuator on it and a times 10 probe and blah blah blah. So it should be close to the same level here. Let's find out. I'm gonna pop that baby on there and change our center frequency on this to 10 megahertz because that's where that should be. Let's find out. Oh I see something there. It's kind of low actually. That's good. Amplitude, reference, actually, yeah, I'll do that first. Maybe better just raise it up a little bit. Let's see what we got here. All right, I'm going to change the, oh, the input attenuator changed for me. Now that's special, isn't it? Okay. Hmm. Let's drop that down some more here and see what we get. And amplitude, and we'll raise that puppy up a little more. Let's check the span, see if we're up still down at the lower there. Well, <clears throat> for something that's supposed to be accurate, it's only measuring it at 10.004320 megahertz at a minus 116 dBm. No kidding. I wonder if I take the times 10 probe off, I can survive this here. Let's find out. Got your fingers crossed. Here we go. Well, I st oh, the marker. Let me, that's where we're having the problem here. Let's do a uh, peak center frequency. See what we get. Oh, that's just a little bit better. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to adjust the sensitivity, I hope, on the... 
a frequency counter. I may not have enough signal to gate this. And that's what I'm a little worried about. I'm hoping that I do. But I don't think so. Let me see. There's a button for sensitivity. Oh, there we go, maybe. Ah, yes. Houston, we have ignition. Okay. Watch this. This is even better. Okay. <clears throat> Again, I just turned that crystal control oscillator on. It may be still warming up. I don't know. But so I guess this will be really accurate, right? Okay, so now if we look at the frequency up here, it says 9.99992 megahertz at a minus 61 dBm. How sweet is that, right? Nice, comfortable level to work with. And now I'm going to move up to the frequency counter again. Hold your breath. Oh, what's that? 9.99991. Oh, wait, two. Oh, my gosh, they actually matched for a second there. Now, tell me, is that good or what, hey? Both of them matched. What are the odds of that unless they're both pretty accurate, right? And even if they're a little bit off and the crystal control oscillator is really at exactly 10 megahertz, okay, so it's reading 9 or 8 hertz low. Oh, cry me a river. So, anyway, that's the video on that. One more test that shows that our Rigel DSA815 spectrum analyzer is reading really accurate measurements on frequencies and so is that HP that my son was so kind to give to me he's such a wonderful son I have to tell you and I'm so proud of him too he got his um, general class license um, about two months ago I think it was and uh, might have been a little more than that but um, wonderful he's actually besides myself the only person in my family that uh, has our ham tickets so I think that's pretty special. And I also heard something on, where was that? Might have been the ARL uh, newsletter or something. That the um, ham radio population in, oh, it's the United States of the world, I don't remember, is at an all time high, actually. It had actually dropped for a while there, but now it's higher. And I think that's wonderful. And, uh, and we've certainly proven ourselves in emergencies and stuff. And, I mean, all these bills are getting passed in Congress saying, you know, hey, give these hams, you know, what they need to do their emergency communications because they're proven to be, a, you know, a reliable, uh, not a reliable, but a, uh, a invaluable resource to emergencies. And it's just, I love hearing that stuff. It's wonderful stuff. Anyway, thanks for um, watching all my videos. And thanks for watching just one more <laughs> video on uh, the frequency accuracy of our... Um, our new spectrum analyzer, which I absolutely love. So, catch you guys later. Seven threes. Da 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 da.